Hello and welcome to the Yankee Hill Education Center 2020 virtual graduation. My name is Eric Witt and I have the honor and privilege of serving as principal here at Yankee Hill. On behalf of our seniors, I'd like to thank you for joining in our celebration of their hard work and accomplishments. While we wish we were here at Yankee Hill celebrating together, we'd also like to acknowledge all of the adversity and challenges that have happened over the last few months. We hope this celebration serves as a moment for us to pause and reflect on the successes of our graduates and all of the possibilities that await them. This group of seniors are no strangers to facing adversity and overcoming challenges. In fact, they've been able to use their resiliency to reach this very day. Time and time again, they have persevered to strive towards their goals. Our seniors would also tell you they weren't able to reach this day alone. Here at Yankee Hill, we have a norm, working together to succeed. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of those who work with us to help support and guide and navigate our students to this point. Thank you, family, friends, and community. We couldn't have done it without you. I would also like to recognize the staff of Yankee Hill. You are passionate about the students we serve and the program we represent. Here at Yankee Hill, our school mission statement is three simple words, decide, commit, succeed. Helping students navigate through the chapters of decide and commit can be challenging, but knowing what success looks on the other side makes it all worth it. I can't thank you enough for your willingness to always go the extra mile for students. Next, I'd like to invite our superintendent of Lincoln Public Schools, Dr. Steve Joel, and board member, Mrs. Connie Duncan, to extend their congratulations to our graduates. Greetings, Yankee Hill graduates. Like you, I wish we could do this in person. I know that there's a little bit of disappointment in that with you, but the next best thing is to do it virtually like we are, but it doesn't take away from the importance of the day. You've made it. You've earned it. You can call yourselves a graduate of Lincoln Public Schools. As somebody that has spent quite a bit of time at Yankee Hill, I have to tell you, I saw firsthand how hard you worked and how hard your teachers worked with you. Now, the good news is a Lincoln Public Schools diploma carries with it a lot of weight. It'll open up doors for you. The key is that you have to pursue those doors and you have to decide that this is nothing but a time to celebrate your accomplishments, but tomorrow begins the next step of your journey. And the message that I always like to give at graduation is that you and only you control your destiny. You see, we couldn't control the pandemic. We could deal with the pandemic. The pandemic was a challenge. It brought great disruption and change to our lives, but we're gonna emerge stronger and better as a result of that. With a high school diploma from Lincoln Public Schools, you're going to emerge stronger and better than when you started. But it's up to you to take that next step. Know that myself, your teachers, your principals, the Lincoln Public Schools Board of Education, and an entire community are very proud to call you graduates of LPS. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It is my pleasure and privilege to speak remotely to each of you today. My name is Connie Duncan, and I'm a member of the Lincoln Public Schools Board of Education. I'm so sorry that I cannot be with you in person, but understand if I could, I would shake each of your hands and probably cry just a little. Graduates, I ask you to do one thing today. After this ceremony, give your mother, grandmother, father, or anyone that has been there for you a kiss and a very long hug. Tell them thank you for being there and loving you no matter what. Parents and anyone that has been a support system for these amazing students, I also ask you to do one thing today after this ceremony. Tell your graduate, job well done, and know you are loved and supported. Your high school mission statement has been decide, commit, and succeed. These three words actually sum up life and need to be posted on your refrigerator, the dashboard of your car, and the mirror you look in every morning. They are great reminders for all of us in this crazy journey of life. But now, 
as graduates, they might be much bigger. For instance, you now need to decide what you want to do after high school. Is it to go on in your schooling, get a full-time job, and or be a very good parent? The important thing is to decide. When I was your age, I decided I wanted to be a special ed teacher so I could help children just like me who could not learn to read. I didn't want children to ever feel as lost as I was in school. What are you trying to decide? Committing to a decision is always the hardest part. Can I do this? What are my friends doing? Do I really want to do this? The important thing is to promise yourself that you will commit. Yes, I will be the best special ed teacher and all students I work with will never feel lost and they will learn the power of being able to read. Will you commit? Succeeding at this goal takes work. It is the get in there and get your hands dirty kind of work, kind of work I like. It will take daily reminders and self-talk that you have now committed to this goal and you will succeed. I had to work really hard to become a teacher. I had to study more hours than most students to pass my classes, but I did it. I was a special ed teacher for 17 years. I didn't win any big awards or get to meet the president. I got something much better. I changed the lives of countless students. I still get called out in grocery stores with a, hey, Duncan, remember me? You're my favorite teacher. My heart just melts. These moments make me realize that I did succeed. They recognize me. Now it is your turn to succeed. You each have the tools you learned here at Yankee Hill Education Center to prepare you for what life may throw at you. Just remember to decide, commit, and you will succeed. Congratulations, class of 2020. Dr. Joel, Mrs. Duncan, thank you for your messages. We're honored to have you as a part of our graduation and appreciate your endless guidance and support. Thank you again. Next, I'm excited to introduce our senior speaker, Sean Hines. Sean has been able to use his determination and caring nature as his guiding compass over the past four years. Sean has never lost sight in his goal to graduate from high school and to pursue a post-secondary degree. Sean has served as an ambassador during his time here at Yankee Hill. If ever there was a time that we needed a student to provide a testimonial or give a tour of the program, Sean was our go-to person. Sean has been able to help others connect with the true purpose of Yankee Hill, a way to find yourself, a way to get yourself back on track, and a way to help others. Thank you, Sean. Hi, my name is Sean Hines. And I am a graduated senior. As a freshman, I didn't know what I wanted out of life, but I can say now as a graduated senior, I know what I, what I want, who I want to be, and how to become that. High school really wasn't the place I wanted to be until I arrived at Yankee Hill my freshman year. I'm not going to act like I was the best I could be at all times, but when I committed to helping out my peers and staff, it felt good and I knew I was making a difference. Making a difference. As a high schooler, I've been through a lot of stuff and it don't hurt to talk and to legit ask for help. I never was a type to just ask for help, but sometimes you gotta put your pride to the side and do what you gotta do. Yankee Hill taught me a lot, but the norm I tried my best to use was show respect. It also molded me into a more caring and understanding person. And would like to send a thanks to all the teachers and staff that I came in contact with for helping me and never giving up on me when I was in my darkest times. And this goes for North Star and Brian as well. I would also like to say, Congratulations to, all, to every senior and other graduates. And also we decided, committed, and succeeded and can be proud of our journey through high school. Thanks. Thank you, Sean. Your words were inspiring. We are always in your corner and life has big things in store for you. It is now my privilege to present the Yankee Hill class of 2020 in the year in review slideshow. Dominic, I am so happy for you and your family as you celebrate this monumental achievement. While I will miss having you in my class and learning so much about UFC from you, I can't wait to see what all you accomplish after high school. I know your creativity and ability to adapt will take you far in life. And I wanna leave you with the words of the great Conor McGregor. Doubt is only removed by action. If you're not working, then that's where doubt comes in. So get up, Booker, and go do great things. 
I know you can. Congratulations. Hey, Dominic. Mr. Reichert here. Congratulations on graduating from high school. All that hard work of all these years of school, elementary, middle, and now high school, finally came to an end. Congratulations on earning that high school diploma. Being a high school graduate, man, it's something to be proud of. Congratulations. Good job. First and foremost, just want to say congratulations to you, Dominic. Uh, obviously, we can't be there because of the circumstances, but I'm just giving you, uh, reaching out and giving you a short message, letting you know I'm proud of you. I'm happy that you made it through, and uh, it's been a long journey. We've been together since you're about 10. You're 18 now, um, and uh, I'm happy for you and seeing all the growth that you are coming to, and I can help you keep maturing and becoming a great young man in society. Mr. Booker. I think your most iconic trait is your passion. You have a passion for MMA, PlayStation over Xbox, not attending Friday morning assembly, and learning. The effort and attention that you'd pay to things that interested you was impressive. Dominic, you have all the potential in the world. You might have to trust some people along the way, and I really hope that you learn to let them in. I'm excited to see where life takes you. Don't ever lose your passion. Find something you love and make a career out of it. We're all rooting for you. Congratulations. Hey Seth, um, I am just so proud of you. Congratulations. Um, you are a unique, consistent, funny kid, and I enjoyed having you in class so much. Um, I know that you're continuing to learn about who you are, and I think that you will find out that you are a wonderful person, and we just loved having you so much. So please continue to um, expand your horizons and become that person you really want to be. You can do it. I'm super proud of you. Congratulations, Seth. You are unapologetically yourself. I think that is incredibly admirable. Keep pursuing the things in life that make you the happiest and great things are sure to follow. Best of luck. Seth, uh, I want to commend you for your compassion for others. Uh, at this point in time in the world, the people that we need more people like you that, that genuinely care about others. Uh, whatever path you set forward after this, after graduation, do not forget that. Uh, we need more people like that. We need more people like you. Uh, congratulations and good luck. Seth, from our silent sessions at Don Cheryl to seeing you as the young adult you are today, you may have matured more since I've known you than any student I know. It sounds like you have some direction and plans for your future, and neither of us could have imagined that a few years ago. You are so much better equipped now to pursue your goals and deal with struggles that might appear along the way. Go find your dream and pursue it. Maybe you'll have a chance to play a game of cards down the road. Congratulations, Seth. Good luck. Congratulations, Sean. You did this. In the end, there wasn't anyone placing demands on you or monitoring your performance. And still, on your own, you've made the decision to succeed and reach this milestone. That, in and of itself, shows an incredible amount of character. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sean. 2020 graduate. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of your growth. I am so proud of you graduating. I am so proud of you not giving up. I can see you doing big things, great things, traveling. I can't wait until you come back and say, Miss Laurie, I've done it. The mama bear and me just want to hold on, but I know I need to let go. So with me saying that, I won't say goodbye. I will say, see you later. I've teared up so many times during this video. So this will be me saying, I will see you later and I am so proud of you. Sean, from the first time I met you at North Star to the young man that is graduating today, that transformation is truly amazing. You've become a young man that has proven to us and hopefully to yourself that you are a leader, confident in yourself, working to better yourself and become the man you wanna be. Many of our talks weren't so much a time of me giving you advice, but rather helping you answer your own questions and solve your own problems. You have a wisdom that knows what's right for you. Don't forget that. Listen to that voice and you'll live a happy and meaningful life. Congratulations, Sean, I'm proud of you. You did it. Sean, first off, congratulations on graduating. Um, I know this is a um, significant accomplishment for anybody, but 
with you doing this, um, just wanted to let you know that we're so proud of you and, and excited about this. It's something I know when we first met that we talked about and, and I know you envisioned it maybe when others didn't. So congratulations on fulfilling an accomplishment that you believed in, but also I know you know others believed in this as well. I wanted just to leave you with about three words and, and that's common said it. And so another ball brother, so I, you know, I gotta go with him, but he said, love yourself, know yourself, and just be yourself. And, and that's something that you have always done and you will continue to do that in a path that will lead you on to success. So again, congratulations. You, you know where to find us if you need anything. And um, even in quarantine, I still look better than Mr. Witt. So you got to you gotta give big ups for that. Hey, Sean, go out, take on the world. We love you. Lucas, congratulations on the hard work and the persistence that it took to make it to graduation. I am thankful that you have been a part of our Yankee Hill family. I'll remember you for your kindness and your friendliness to others. I hope that you're able to follow your dreams in life and find something to be grateful for each day. Have a great summer, Lucas. Lucas, can you believe it? You're graduating. Woohoo! <laughs> Mind blow. You said you were not going to do it. You told me a hundred times. I'm not going to do it. I can't graduate, but you did it. You overcame all the barriers all the stupid things that happen in life you overcame them you graduated i'm super proud of you i'm super proud to call you one of my friends and just to celebrate your graduation i brought along my wind puppet here and together we're going to say congratulations happy graduation well lucas we finally reached the end that we talked about so many times in the hallway uh it didn't go exactly like we planned out in those conversations um, but you got here nonetheless. Uh, I'm guessing right now you're probably thinking of what you need to do, what you want to do next. And the only piece I want to tell you is don't overthink things. Congratulations. Enjoy this achievement. It's a big one. Lucas, you came into Yankee Hill with spunk and determination. You have overcome so much and have so much strength in you. Use your abilities for good. Accept the things you cannot change and be yourself. I'm so proud of you and your accomplishments, and I know that you will continue to achieve wonderful things. Congratulations. Hi, Robert. I am definitely going to miss seeing your friendly face around Binky Hill, but I am so proud that you're graduating and moving on to bigger and better things. I wish you the best of luck in all that you do. And even though you're moving on, don't forget about your Yankee Hill family. I hope to see you in the future when you come back to tell us all about your amazing life after high school. Congrats again. Congratulations, Robert. During your time at Yankee Hill, you left an impression through your friendliness, your sense of humor, and your willingness to make the difficult decisions to do the right thing. I hope you continue to make wise choices and remember to thank your family and friends that have supported you along the way. Have a great summer, Robert. Robert, congratulations, man. You did it. A little too soon for me. I think I might need to have you stick around another year, but that's probably not going to happen. A year ago, two years ago, who would have thought you'd be graduating high school right now? So you know this isn't the end. It's just a new beginning. Take this diploma and go after what you want. Live fearlessly and don't give up. Congratulations, Robert. You did it. Congratulations, Robert. You in no way, shape, or form have let your past define you. While your journey has not been perfect, I have been able to begin to watch you transform your life into a hardworking and compassionate young man. I couldn't be more proud to have been a small part of your journey. Keep it up. Adam, I think in the show business world, you would be described as having great stage presence. Your smile, your energy, your heart, your very existence fills a room. Thank you for sharing parts of your life with us. Thank you for being strong by being vulnerable. I am incredibly proud of you and all of your efforts and the young man you have become. Congratulations on graduation. Adam, on behalf of North Star High School, we want to congratulate you on your graduation accomplishments. We really enjoyed working with you and appreciate your sense of humor. You're a very funny young man. High school graduation is one of the many big accomplishments people experience in life. 
Enjoy this moment and remember the feeling as you work towards your next big accomplishment. We are very proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Adam. Congratulations, Adam. This one is just a little more personal for me. I had the unique pleasure of watching you go from a crazy middle school kid with little direction in life to a high school graduate and a big hearted young man. I couldn't be more proud of you. Best wishes and please keep in touch. Adam, you have come a long way from the Adam Martinez that first walked into my art classroom. And I'm a better teacher because of knowing you and watching you mature into the man that you've become today. I am so proud of the steps that you have taken to achieve this goal. And I hope that your next chapter in life is everything that you want it to be. Congratulations on graduating high school and overcoming so much adversity along the way. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Adam. Jenny, your internal drive is second to none. Once you make your decision, you're gonna do something, heaven help is stopping you. Uh, graduation is a prime example. You buckled down, got things done when it could have been easier to just say, I'll wait and come back in the fall. Uh, and I'm super proud of you for that. Uh, I'm excited to hear where you go next, what you, what you decide to focus on next. Congratulations and keep on working. Hello everyone, it's Mr. Hunter here. Hey, just giving a big shout out to Jimmy Mischief for completing their mission and graduating in 2020. I want to tell you, I'm so very proud of you. We've had long talks, many of talks, many of long talks uh, about this very day. And I couldn't be more proud of you than I am right now. I know we had our ups and downs. I know you had your ups and downs, but I told you I'll always be there for you. I told you I'll walk it all the way down with you and that I did. I'll always be here for you no matter what. You got my number, I'm only a phone call away. If anything that you ever need, please reach out to me. Congratulations, Jenny. Even though this graduation is not what we pictured and talked about all those mornings in GGI, the achievement is still the same. You've put in the same hard work, you've learned and grown so much from the time that I met you, and I couldn't be prouder on, of you on accomplishing this achievement. I hope you know how special you are and that you continue to have confidence in yourself and do what is right for you. Go live your best life, girl. Jenny, who would have guessed that when you walked into my room three years ago, that you would have done as much as you have in such a short time? Me, that's who. I knew that you were destined for bigger and better things from the very beginning. Just remember, you are in control of your decisions. People love you for who you are and you'll never go wrong if you stay true to yourself. Congratulations. Jonathan Perry, slow and steady wins the game. Keep your eyes on the target, don't give up. Stop thinking you can't do it or it's too hard. This diploma proves that you are smart, that you don't quit. You've got all you need to do whatever you want, even when it's hard. Believe in yourself. That's what this diploma should remind you of. And nobody can take it from you. I'm so proud of you, Jonathan. You made it. Jonathan, I'm so happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day, and I'm also really proud of you. You've come a long way from the shy and sometimes stubborn student that I met when you entered my art room. I hope you know how many people you have in your corner and how much you can achieve in life. I have no doubt that your creativity, sense of humor, and determination will get you wherever you wanna be in life. Congratulations, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. I wish we had time to play one more game so I could beat you one more time. As hard as you tried, and sometimes I even let my guard down a little bit, you couldn't quite pull it off, but you pulled off graduation. And I want you to know I'm really proud of you for that. And it's been a real joy for me to work with you these last four or five, maybe even six years, and watch you grow and mature. And while we all have great days and we have not so great days, we have to show up the very next day ready to make a difference in our lives and the lives of others. And so I know you've overcome a lot of personal challenges, and I will be honored if you and I at some point can interact and you can continue to keep me updated on what you're doing. But for now, I want you to celebrate being a Lincoln Public Schools graduate. And I well remember when we were at Don Sherrill 
and you didn't even think graduation was a possibility. But you put your head down when you had to, and you developed that work ethic to make it work. So I'm proud of you. I know, you're, I know your grandma's proud of you, and I know your parents are proud of you. Now go out and make yourself proud of yourself. Take care and congratulations. Jonathan, I could not be more proud of you. Uh, thinking back to the four years you've been with us, uh, just the growth you've had and, and the way you've changed, the way you've matured has just been amazing to watch. Uh, I'm actually really quite saddened uh, that I can't shake your hand in person this, this year uh, and congratulate you uh, because I know how big of an accomplishment it is for you and your family and, and just how excited everyone is for you. Uh, whatever you decide to do next, sir, make sure you just jump in with both feet. Uh, you'll do great. Good luck. Congratulations, Alyssa. I'm glad that you were a part of Yankee Hill. I always remember your sense of humor and your smile. As you go forward into life, I hope that you are able to do the things that you love and to accomplish your goals. Have a great summer. Hi, Alyssa. Congratulations on your graduation. I am so honored to have gotten to share a small part in your journey. You are an incredible person with so much potential. You also have a huge heart. Let that part of you shine and you will be unstoppable. Congratulations, I'm proud of you. This congratulations goes out to Alyssa Shaw. I'm so happy to hear that you're graduating this year. Uh, I know exactly, I know I wasn't exactly your favorite teacher at Yankee Hill, uh, you know, maybe second favorite, uh, but I thought I would uh, drop in and congratulate you anyways. Uh, you've grown tremendously over the last three years and learned how to handle adversity with grace. I hope you continue to remain as confident and self-assured as you are in the classroom and in the next chapter of your life. Congratulations. If the term strong-willed ever decided to be known by a different name, it would call itself Alyssa Shaw. From the moment we met you, we knew you were a force to be reckoned with. You are smart, caring, determined, loyal, and I am so grateful I met you. Keep setting those goals, keep moving forward, stay true to yourself, and please stay strong-willed. Congratulations. On behalf of Lincoln Public Schools and your Yankee Hill family, dream big, make decisions with purpose, commit to your core values and beliefs, and I have no doubt success will follow. Congratulations, graduates.
see myself where I need to be. This voice inside is my only guide. Gonna make sure.